I'm going to set up three lines of balls. First line, this will be the second, and third. Just going to look at the visuals, 15, 30, and 45 of CTE Pro 1, how they connect with right angles of a regulation table. 15 degree perception, cut to the corner. Forty-five degree perception, one rail bank. Thirty degree perception, cut to the corner. Fifteen degree perception, one rail bank. Thirty degree perception, two rail bank. Forty five degree perception. Cut to the corner. <clears throat> and a fifteen degree perception as a bank. Cross corner. <clears throat> so all these balls were just made with a fifteen, a thirty, or a forty five. Actually, a 15 and a 30 make all of the zillion shots that can show up on a regulation table. Of course, in CTE Pro 1, when you get into the thinner cuts, then you have a very accurate 45 degree perception, and then at times you'll use the 60 degree perception for the extremely thin shots. I've been working with a presentation of this system now for a few years and I haven't had one single shot that's been set up for me that doesn't work with center to edge aiming as described. If I just lay this ball out here and lay this ball here, well, that's a 15 degree perception into that pocket. If I move this here, that's a 15 degree perception into the pocket. If I move it here, it's a 30 degree perception into the pocket. If I move it here, it's a 15 degree perception into the pocket. And I could just keep going and going. It doesn't take long to learn these perceptions. And I want to repeat, they're learned. 
It's not something that you just start seeing from day one, even though many people can, uh, particularly if they can allow their analytical mind to sort of move out of the way and just, for lack of a better word, just transcend right into the visual with, with, with an open mind, not saying that, oh, this can't work. Uh, there, there are many people that criticize this system that, that can't make one ball using this system. So how can you criticize what you don't know? You know, I've pretty much had an open door policy for the last few years to share my work with, uh, with, with whoever's interested. But it's, it's, it's amusing to me to sit back and watch the people that want to see center to edge aiming fail. They want to see it go away. They want to get rid of it. I don't know why. Uh, it's certainly a, a, a connection to the table. I'm not aware of any other aiming system that has the geometric ties to the right angles of the table like this system does. So why wouldn't that be great for pool? You tell me. But there's a small core of people that for some reason they want to see center to edge not make it. They say, well, he's not honest. Oh, he's scamming people too. It, it doesn't work like it's described. Or it's a cult. Or it's a religion. I'll tell you what it is. It's a professional way of approaching this game visually and physically that connect to the table. And I have lots of fun with it and I have fun teaching people. And I've, I've logged who knows how many hours, 15, 20,000 hours putting this information together so that I can describe to those that are interested a perception that was never ever supposed to be when followed by a slight rotation to center cue ball connects you with the right angles of a regulation table. So I, I'm rather amazed at how people want to attack me and the system for the work that I've done to try to better this game and to try to help people out. But I, I've got people that I say it's just a core of people that want to that want to pick at it and it's not right. It doesn't work. Oh, it does work, and there's plenty out there now that knows that it works. So uh, I'm going to continue to share uh, the system so that you can see the effectiveness of it and of course, I have my work out there, and you can you can access it. So uh, I'm still at the game, and I, the only thing I can say is that I'm a much much better player and having a lot more fun with the game because I have a system that connects with the table. I grew tired of not being able to connect with the table in a professional manner. Once upon a time when I used fractions or ghost balls or contact points and uh, I did something about it. I did something about it with hard work. I basically started from nothing. I had, I had some good information but uh, I had to scratch and claw to put all this together and uh, I hope that you'll take a look at it and uh, if you like it, try it and if you don't like it then uh, uh, have a little respect for the work that I've put into this system. Thank you very much.